Well, whatever happens next, bro, it's on you at this point. Y'all see that? It was moving. It's moving. Que coño? Let's see the Drake video. Y'all. <laughs>
YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. Uh -oh. this the is dash cam nine. video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run cold. Hey, what's that? Video cut for time. Mm, let me see the unedited. Oh, absolutely not! Excuse me, you need help? Why would you stop? What the f <laughs> The driver suddenly spots a woman walking all by herself in the middle. Bro really stopped for a 2 out of 10? That's crazy. <laughs> of the night. She looks possessed. As he gets closer, he is horrified when he sees that the woman is covered in blood. Worried for her safety, he rolls down his she window. She was covered and in blood. She needs help. Uh, I don't know about that, bro. It looks like she's having her period. <clears throat> Throw Sissa Pat out the freaking back door window and keep driving. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Excuse me, you need help. After which, she lets out a blood curdling scream. What the? A period blood curdling scream. Pause! At this point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes. Only black sockets. Oh, that's true. What the frick? The reaction and appearance. The driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. That's crazy. So just what do you think is going on here? And what would you do in this same situation? I would have never stopped to begin with, to be honest. It's pitch black outside. I'm driving down a super dark road with no lights, no people around. And there's just this one lady with blood on her dress. Okay. Walking past me with no eyes. What do you freaking think I'm going to do, huh? I'm going to keep driving. Let her possess me. Hey, bro. What the fuck? What the f Yeah, what he said. The woman in white. Duke's top five viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What, what happens next? Is truly chilling. Is it truly chilling? Are you afraid? That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? <laughs> this one, come here. <laughs> She's a. That room over there was scary. <laughs> This is a private office. I'm saying you can't go in there. No, I'm saying that it's open because we could. Did you see it? No. A woman. No. No! Who seems to be wearing a white gown can be seen standing behind the family oh! on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence as she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. What the heck? So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? I mean... Let me Maybe. know what you think. The mom. burial mounds. Number Paranormal seven. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation. This time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds. Oh yeah? Some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices. Oh, for real? And some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. No shot. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. 
Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. Why would you want to do this? Man, walking through these woods, I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. Yes, you should probably go home. Like, from anywhere. Bears, Bigfoot, ghosts, What's that Bigfoot? anything. Crazy, I thought I heard something behind me. Hello? Who's over there? I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. I, know, I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Ooh, holy shit. Okay. What? All right. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't know if I should try this, but I'm gonna try walking backwards because I want to see what's coming up behind me. Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards because I don't know what's ahead of me. Bro, I would hate that. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> that scared me so bad. That was a straight up voice. Bro, that just gave me chills. From thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. Hello? Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud, indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. He what continued after that? Is truly disturbing. All right, here's mound number two. Can't help stupid chat. I'm actually not gonna say anything this time. I'm actually just gonna listen. It just sounds like bro's listening on a CB radio that he shouldn't be listening in on. Oh my god, I'm hearing all kinds of things over here. It sounds like voices, but they're so faint. Bro, they're just talking Japanese. Let's move on. Female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long involved conversation. Yeah, she just yapping. But it's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crowing River's edge. Something truly terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here. Fun? Out in the wilderness. Even though it's dark. Yeah, bro. Barely see 10 feet ahead of me. Bro definitely got dropped on his head. Holy shit. A goose flying? I mean, that does this happen. This one, I said it was fun being out here. Pretty sure that was a goose back there, splashing in the water. Of all things, Ian's biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy shit. Eventually, Ian finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next is truly bizarre. <gasps> okay, I just heard talking. That sounded like a male voice. I didn't hear it. Yeah, bro, sounds like he's just hacking into some satellite Did you radio. Speak again? <gasps> oh my god! Dude, that was a face! I just seen a face! Where? That was a glowing face! Why don't you talk louder so they can come get rid of you? Oh, right there! I seen it now. Oh, that part's creepy. Oh my god, I cannot believe that! Dude, his face just appeared right there! Right there! Oh my god, that was Why one of the craziest you things I'm not even seen. screaming! 
It's one thing to see a light. You want to hear a screaming? <laughs> a face. It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Nah. Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits no. buried at the Crow Wing River? Probably not. Let me know what you think. Probably. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures <laughs> over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter, the San Haven Sanatorium. Nuke's Top 5 viewer Ricky and his sister Vicky set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunseith, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of these patients did not survive. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. The San Haven Sanatorium is up. now known as a paranormal hotspot, and to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. So, Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. They experience something downright creepy. No, I bet it's a morgue. Oh, come on, let me have that. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, this building's getting pretty, pretty bad. It's just an old building. Y'all should not be in there. Is that you? Yeah, you guys should leave. That wasn't you, was it? No. Why'd it take her so long to answer, huh? Suspicious. Like someone's upstairs. There's someone upstairs. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. I hope so. What? What does she mean? I hope so. I hope so. I hope we die. Really hope so. Hello. Hello. Where are you at? Now, like it should tell be you. noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it what moves and rattles as if shaken by it. some unknown force. Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, hey, why you want to be alone it with would this be sister impossible anyways? for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. Is that you? Now that's crazy. The thing down the hall. A group of friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. You hear noises. Oh, no, the way I just light up a, a Molotov cocktail and just throw that in there. Hola? Let's see the Drake video. Y'all. <laughs> The guys are hesitant to look inside the bathroom, but when they do, something horrifying can be seen staring back at them. What the fuck? What is that? I was not expecting that. And whoever asked to watch the Drake video, no.
Watch it on your own time. Them. User Ain Holval shares the video to TikTok with the caption, what the hell was in my bathroom? Now, it's certainly very creepy, but is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? That's you crazy. decide. That's gotta be an elaborate TikTok hoax, because no way. But that did scare the piss out of me. Genuine intrigue. New homeowner and Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has been finding evidence that some kind of animal has been walking around his backyard late at night. Raccoon. Curious to see what kind of animal it might be, he decides to look through the footage recorded by his motion detecting security camera. But what he finds sends a chill down his spine. What is walking around his yard? Y'all see that white, like, ghost or whatever? During a soft rain, a translucent figure seems to slowly walk through the backyard. Bro Reddit forgot user to, like, Genuine Intrigue has no explanation for this bizarre capture. But what do you think this is? A lucid Colton visibility Avenue. cloak, that's what that is. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore Holton Avenue, okay. an entirely abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Now it's unknown why the street was left abandoned other than it sits in an incredibly dangerous neighborhood. Multiple bodies have been found on this street and each of the deceased met their end under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. Like what? So dragging around his balls of steel Chris Hill makes it his Did bro just say dragging around his balls of steel? Yep. Bro, just say you're into him. Like, I didn't need to know he had balls of steel. Like, that's crazy, bro. It's a mission to record and document the abandoned buildings on Holton Avenue before they are demolished. In the middle of the night, Chris begins his exploration at the abandoned First Hungarian Baptist Church. He soon realizes that he might have made a huge mistake. Oh, for real? He's just now realizing that? A little late, bucko. Not for sale? Chat, you see that? It says not for sale, bro. That's what I'll be telling all the ladies on the market. <laughs> Well, at least he's being realistic. It probably is an animal. You have a wife and kids, bro? That's what I literally just said. They be asking if I'm for sale, bro. I be saying I'm not for sale. I be telling all the ladies that are out on the market. Bro, a little slow up here. It's all right. Uh oh. Your wife is lucky, that's what you're trying to say? Oh yeah, true. <laughs> she is, right? <laughs> hey, don't be flipping the camera quick like that now, sir. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's upstairs? Uh oh. <laughs> As Chris is exploring the basement, he hears strange noises, but can't identify the source. Then a door above him on the ground floor just slams shut. Chris quickly makes his way upstairs to investigate, and what happens next is downright creepy. Oh, is that what they call it now? Haha, <laughs> creepy. What? I'm trying to get a little creepy too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Oh no. Oh, what if he's behind the door? Do you see how it didn't open all the way? Do you see how it didn't open all the way? Nah, dude, don't go in there. Now you're gonna get trapped. Oh, he's gonna touch you. There's no one there. You didn't check behind the door yet. Okay, now you did. 
Look, wait, what? Look up, look around, you'll be dead, come to town. Hey, yo, who writing poems up in the church? Who would write a poem like that in the church, bro? Oh, no, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. This is crazy. Soon he's going to be whispering in bro's ears like, Look up. Look around. Come to town. You'll be dead. Or I don't know. What, whatever the f poem is. But that's the bro who wrote the poem. Chris finds nothing and no one to explain why the door slammed shut. But when reviewing his footage at home, he realizes that he captured more than he thought. A 4K static camera that he placed inside the church's chapel He's lucky reveals bro, let that him live. something seems to move towards the door just before it slams shut. That's crazy. Another static camera shows something pale and translucent moving around the pews while Chris is in the room. But that's not all that Chris captured that night. Because after a thorough walkthrough of the church, oh, Chris decides to check out one of the abandoned houses on Holton Avenue. Why would he do that? It did not go well is he slow this is sketchy this cannot be safe no it can't you should go home he's even telling himself it can't be safe but he's still doing it anyways well at least he's aware i would not go down there absolutely not who could all find a body down here who was so why would you say that I hope I don't find a body sure down here. Like it's just underneath the house. What would you do if you did? Still creepy. <laughs> what just happened? Why is bro is literally walking? He might be slow, like slow as in like he can't fucking walk fast, guys. He might have a limp. Like, why is he walking, bro? I would have been running. Bro put on his running shoes now? What's going on? Also, why is he saying sorry in lowercase like that? Listen to that again. Bro really said sorry. Look at this. That's crazy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know why you lived there. Sorry, didn't know you. Didn't know I was in somebody's house. My bad. I kind of knew I was trespassing. Might find a dead body, but sorry. While checking out the house's basement, Chris hears movement on the floor above him. Freaked out by the sound, he quickly starts making his way out of there. But there's someone inside with him, oh, peeking no. out from behind a that curtain. That's crazy. The man seems to be living in the abandoned home. Chris knows the horrifying stories of the people who met a tragic end on home. Bro, look at him. He said, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Bro really ripped his sheet for that. That's crazy, dude. He was just trying to get changed. It's just like a changing room at like a, you know, like a store. Holton Avenue. So he quickly just gets out of the house. And with that, Chris has had about enough. He decides to just head home. Should have done for that to begin with. reasons, I advise everyone watching this to just stay away from Holton Avenue. But if you want to see more of Chris's you explorations, that. you can find them all on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Free fall. TikTok user Jalen Rich is hanging out with a friend on the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California a little after closing time. Okay. Something happens that freaks them both out. What's that? Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. This is scary. Where the f Okay, I'm really bad at this. No one's on there. <laughs> Did I just see somebody taking a ride? Okay, I totally saw someone. Hey, let bro enjoy his after someone hours. Appears to be seated. Hey, hold on, bro. Paid for before park and after park hours. Okay, he's staying at the hotel. <laughs> he's at the on-site hotel. Okay, he gets after hours. Can't blame him. All right.
trying to get the most use out of his money. The Santa Cruz Boardwalk free fall ride, even though the ride is supposed to be closed. But then, whoever or whatever it is seems to disappear into thin air. Now that's crazy. Jalen explains that both she and her friend saw someone sitting on the ride and have no idea how to explain what happened. Now, the Santa Cruz Boardwalk opened in 1907 and has seen at least three confirmed fatal accidents over the last 116 years. One rumor even states that a park visitor tragically broke their neck on this very ride. Oh, no, nah, I don't ever trust so those So could rides. it be that Jalen captured the spirit of someone who never made it out of the park? You decide. I hate those rides, Chad. I will never do the big drop one. Followed ever. home. TikTok Followed user home. Francisco Javier claims that strange things have been happening at his home in Spain after exploring an abandoned farm he came across one day in the middle of nowhere. He says that the farm is a place of intense paranormal activity. Hola. That is pretty creepy. Francisco is recording at the farm when a door slams shut right behind him. After his days exploring the farm, he believes that something might have followed him home. What? Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonidos desde el baño muy raro. He's got a demon out to get him now. Bro made an op. Bro, you gotta take out them ops. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. Bro's ops in his house? Absolutely not. Someone is there? Are you serious? Somebody's in your bathroom. And you don't you're not holding the shotgun right now? Well whatever happens next, bro, it's on you at this point. Do y'all see that? It was moving. It's moving. Ah! believes that he might be dealing with multiple no! and even the sound of intense crying in the night. Bro got demon babies crying in his house? The chilling sound of a baby crying sends Francisco off to search his entire apartment, but he finds nothing to explain the sound. Another night and things escalate to another level when Francisco's Amazon Alexa begins to behave very strangely oh, no. and absolutely terrifying. Alexa me da un susto de muerte. <laughs> if I ever hear Hola. like at night, oh hell no. Adios, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I go to the window. Francisco says that his Alexa is disconnected, yet it calls out in Spanish, go to the window. The Alexa trying to seduce him? <laughs> that was crazy. Damn, bro, Alexa. Bro. And that's Hello, not the Kiki. only time that this happens. Oh no. Why have you not moved yet, bro? Come on, Francisco. Oh, yeah. 
A female voice coming from the Alexa laughs out loud but then stops as soon as Francisco comes around the corner. Hail to the then An entirely different, lower and creepier voice calls out, Hola. Wait, he said hola. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Francisco has had enough, but he has no idea how to stop the terrifying activity. Well, step one he tries to continue living his life as if nothing has Alexa happened. To the ground. But then one night when he's hanging out just watching TV, this happens. Hola? What is that? Bro, that looked like a kid. Like, y'all see it was like right next to the doorknob. Oh no. Oh no, bro. Come on. What if it's Jack Jack? Francisco is startled by knocking coming from his hallway door. When he stands up to check it out, he spots what appears to be a small child looking in through the window. That is so Shocked weird. by what he's seeing, he quickly opens the door only to find no one there. Whoever or whatever this is has disappeared. So did something follow Francisco home from the abandoned farm that he explored? Could it even be multiple spirits? That's so weird, dude. And if you were in his shoes, just what would you do? The ghost could follow them to their new house? Yeah, but I'd get roommates or something, you know what I mean? Bro's just living by himself. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never crazy, miss a dude. video. I would not, I would not like, I would not deal with that crap. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> that's it, bro. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, allow them for all. So you never miss out on any content. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, baby.